Hello friends, welcome to my third part of tutorial with um, simulation of our laboratory laboratory scene. So in this third part, last part of my tutorial, we create a bubble effects. We create a small bubbles which is coming from down up to surface of the water and touching glass. So Let's start. Okay, how to create a bubbles effect? For this I use express attacks. Create a new object. Go to tags, cinema 4D tag and expresso. So drag null object inside in this windows. Uh, you know, somebody think to work with uh, Express is very hard, but if you make a few lessons or follow to my tutorial, uh, you easy can create a bubbles without any problem. So right click, new node, thinking particles, generator, a P storm. We use P storm. Okay, uh, I have to make connection between null object and P storm. For example, if I move null object, moving also my P storm. Red, uh, click on the red icon, go to the global position, coordinates, global position, and select this. Again, global matrix. Matrix is like rotation, position is X, Y, Z. On blue one, a meter alignment. So global position connect with position. Global matrix connect with a meter alignment. First connection done. When we go here, we will see some particles coming, some particles coming. So I make protection, uh, disable camera. I no need it now. And my particles coming to outside. So I go to new object and turn up to 90 degrees. So and now my particles will go up. Very good. First step done. So I take these particles and drag inside to first my test tube put little bit up and you see some cylinder yeah this cylinder should be inside in the as you remember collider collider surface so now I have to increase a size of this how to do it go back to the expresso P storm sorry Okay, I make like this mo more smaller P storm, and here you have uh, settings like um, P storm properties. Go down, and here you have size X size and Y size. Increase maybe in twice, and check. Okay, you see, it's coming. So we don't need any additional elements, so I will take only null object and collider object, from here collider object and from here collider object. Maybe also some liquids, yeah, also we use liquid. All other we no need and I use smart solo, magic solo. Okay, very good. Maybe we a little bit increase our P storm coordinates, maybe to one, to one. You see, yes, it's coming more. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, very nice. Very nice. What we have? If I play again, my particles coming up. Now I have to increase little bit this uh, radius. Now it's 45 
degrees I make I don't know maybe 60 degrees and you can see my particles coming more outside so from this P storm I have to create a group right click new node particles and create a standard P group as you can see here it's all from where it's coming okay first I make burst particle burst yes from where coming this all you have to go to simulation particles and particles settings okay as you can see all my particles in Y color like all I have to add group number one group number one will be green color this will be particles which is inside only in this tube then I create group number two which is will be red color in tube number two create three as you remember it was blue one create new group four it was like a pink and create group number five it was as I remember yellow okay now I, ha I will have particles different colors for different groups so now we work with first my tube which is inside we have green liquid and for P group I will use group number one just take drag and drop group number one very good uh, so we create a null object which is connected with P storm uh, and after P storm uh, all particles from which is coming from P storm name of this group number one very good right click new node particles and we use P pass on the P pass we are showing group number one now we are give collision collision to our object so right click new node particles dynamic deflector P deflector and very simple take our collider number one and drag and drop to our P deflector so make connection group number one to P deflector and what we have now nothing happened why because we have to proceed to some settings uh, click to P deflector going to settings first of all we drag some object you deflector type not box deflector type will be object collision type front is outside back is inside but I use two sides it will be very good go back check okay you see particles start jumping inside uh, but it looks like not a bubbles what we will do we are going to bounce and reduce maybe up to one percent check again okay you see it's coming to the to the screen to the surface and not going up uh, to increase a speed I have to create few things first of all I have to create a gravitation we are going to simulate particles gravitation gravity and nothing more just gravity then we are going back to our espresso right click new node particles and in dynamic create a gravity so inside in this gravity we drag and drop gravity from cinema 4d particles uh, connect this gravity with our group number one we create we connect here and what we have to do now click on this gravity right left click and as you see direction of gravity somewhere on the side so we have turn and put gravity up 
for 90 degrees. So my gravity it looks like looking up. Going back to Expresso, gravity settings and everything for gravity we will keep like this. 100 we nothing change. For this gravity we also nothing change. So check again. Very nice. Now we are have to create a velocity of these particles. Right click, new node, particles, dynamic, velocity. OK. Particles connect to P pass, to group number one. What we have? Nothing happened. Nothing happened because velocity, OK, I use only speed and I use 2000. You see, it's coming too much from beginning, but I like to make this velocity only after that, only after that, when my particles touch a screen, touch a deflector. For this reason, I go to velocity, go to blue color, select and on. And connect this on with my deflector event. Look. Uh, this on how it work yes when my particles when my particles touching deflector start work my velocity for velocity not work for particles if they don't touch my deflector what we have finally if you check you see some bubbles going up from the center and bubbles and uh, okay bubbles okay particles which is touching a surface, slowly start going up according to velocity settings. Yes, if I increase the settings, maybe 5000 from the walls is coming more faster, but I'm more like 2000. It look, looks like more na natural. So, uh, but now it's only a, like a small crosses, yes, without any, without any, I don't know, object, without any shapes how to create a shapes for this reason we are going to primitive and sphere this sphere will be i don't know maybe only one centimeter and only 10 segments this will be like our bubble then we are going to simulation sinking particles and particle geometry in particle geometry i have only one like a one one setting particle group so all bubbles in all my uh, tubes will be same same it's mean i i drag and drop all for example if i like may make in this uh, i don't know tube some cubic particles here is triangle particles i drag and drop different groups for different particle geometry but now i use only one for all will be only one sphere so going back to my espresso and create one more node new node particles and standard p shape drag sphere inside p shape and connect to particle bursts. It means all particles coming with shape. So, and also I like to make, okay, we will check. Nothing happened because it is very small size. I have to increase a little bit size. So I go to new node, particles, standard size, and connect to particle bursts. This size I will use 100%, it means 100, and variation will be 50%. So, uh, check what, we'll, what we have. You see, yeah? Some small, some big, and some small bubbles coming. Too much, too much, very small bubbles. If it's really too small, you go to sphere and you can increase. It's coming more. If you like make a more gas, you make a less. You just 
change only one sphere and inside you have randomly randomly color so what we will do now we are going to p storm and increase count i don't know maybe in five times we will make 500 it will be too much too much gas inside if it's too much make less make 400 and particle life reduce and check sorry go back reduce and check where is our particles it is touching and jumping here very good maybe we have reduced little bit okay little bit you see it's touching and dying so 30 30 frames will be good 30 frames will be good so we create a first bubbles first bubbles very good what we will do now we give a material for this sphere material of air bubbles going to new material edit shader take out color we no need it make a full refraction and enable scene wallet is coming like a like a bubble okay but to add some reflection to it uh, i mean glossiness yes i use not here you see not here because it's coming more dark i go go to coating and here i increase up to more and here i increase up to 0 0.2 you see looks like very very nice apply this material to our sphere and now we are make same same null for all other our objects so i just this is will be like a tube one bubble copy tube to bubble copy 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 so it will be three bubble it will be four bu sorry four bubble and this will be five uh, all settings same almost same for them only we have to change for example this we take and transfer here transfer to the middle what we need to change if i play you see it's coming too much yes i need change the size of this uh, particle emitter and colors how i do it just go inside to x mm, okay i make like this go inside to expresso go inside to particle settings and as you remember in this tube i have red color so here in p group i transfer number two p pass i transfer sorry i transfer number two and collider i transfer liquid to collider okay going to p position and decrease size i don't know maybe it will be 100 up to 100 check okay it's too much maybe decrease little bit maybe 80 80 okay all bubbles all bubbles looks like inside but as you can see it's not touching the surface to fix this problem we are going to our fov fall and increase maybe up to 150 degrees check again you see our bubbles coming around yes but some coming outside why it's happen i show you you're going to this area and little bit pick up little bit pick up okay all bubbles inside so maybe maybe we will increase angel little bit more maybe we will do 175 175 so it's coming from beginning touching this area and going up 
touching all areas. So I increase little bit, maybe up to 500. And increase life maybe for 40 frames to take too much particles on the surface. Okay, 40 maybe not enough, 50. And check how many bubbles will be on the surface. Okay, very nice. Settings done. So, now we are going to bubble number 3, which is inside in this area. Pick up. Going to Expresso settings, P storm, and make size, I don't know, very, very small, maybe only 20, only 20. Check what we have. Okay. It's coming on the, on the middle. Very nice. Put little bit down. Now we are in Expresso settings as this is blue. We transfer group number 3 here and group number 3 here. And collider. Collider will be number 3. Collider object here. P storm. I make maybe only 100, maybe only 40 frames. And check what we have. Okay, very strange, but it's not touching. Collider 3, yes. Why it's not working? Aha, uh -huh, I know why, why it's not working. Because it is not in not inside. Not inside. We are take this object and put directly middle. Okay, check again. Yeah, very nice. Touching surface. Maybe we little bit decrease alive, maybe for 30. No, maybe 25. We will make a less. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Very nice. So, I think we delete this object and we copy of this object. This will be number 4 and number 5. Number 4 and number 5. So, Take number 4, drag on the center, going to express the settings and take pink number 4 here, number 4 here and collider number 4 here, nothing more. Check. Ok, I make some mistake, go back, 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 stop. Okay. My mistake. Sorry. Okay, again, rename number four and number five. So number three here, number four. Drag, drop here, number five drag drop here check okay very nice so change again close going to number three number three here number three here and collider number three okay go to number four put here number four and collider number four and go number five it will be yellow color here here and collider number five finally we can close this we can close this what we have finally finally different colors coming uh, you see some particles going out why now we check it. You see some particles going out. Why it's happen? Sometimes because our uh, this plane not inside. We little bit pick up and we fix this problem.
no any particles going outside. So I don't like how these particles going up do not touch this. So I going to settings number four, double click, going to P storm settings, make a life maybe 40, make approximately 200. You see it's too much bubbles coming here yeah? and touching surface touching surface so and this p storm i like to decrease bubbles maybe only 50 it's not too much will be bubbles not too much too much will be here and yellow one number five p storm increase maybe 35 frames okay start touching you can see yes touch and can dying and maybe increase up to one five zero a little bit more so very nice very nice looks like very natural too much bubbles and we will try to make a um, we will try to make some render so we are going in the camera view and make a render okay so we first give some bubbles inside pause and render check what we have you see very 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 small bubbles coming yes here is little bit more little bit less less but it's too much bubbles coming and I think I can increase little bit so here it's not too much I going to number four P storm settings and increase in twice play again stop and render it's taking time of course because too much surface oh you see yeah, some bubbles already inside some bubbles here some bubbles here very nice uh, so uh, maybe a little bit increase if i if you check my videos yes i have little bit more bubbles than here for this reason i go to sphere and make i don't know 1.5 just little bit again play red one i don't know i i i had little bit red one maybe for 700 check render we will see if we satisfied okay yeah I like it I like I can see bubbles here bubbles here bubbles here you see it's touching surface very nice it's on the glass looks like on the glass yes but we know we, we know it true it's not not on the glass okay doesn't matter uh, we are going to the settings and redshift motion you know if you take out this i i will show you yeah i will show you two different pages first without render you will see different my video my this tutorial video i render with a uh, with enable motion blur you see when i make a pause it's it's not uh, like not in the focus yeah okay one and now we are enable and make again render you see uh, each frame render it approximately 20 seconds 21 seconds plus minus enable of motion blur do not give for us too much change on the time you see like this and like this of course when i have some motion i like to render with motion blur it's look like more natural yeah but it's absolutely up to you okay when you can use this this techniques of bubbles you can create i don't know glass with champagne maybe glass with soft drink i don't know maybe boiling of the water uh, after that we are going to the settings output all frames okay i i also show you some tricks uh, for example 
here you cannot make a render okay if you like render from 0 up to 300 yes we are going to first frame you see no any particles how to fix this problem it's very simple you're going to this area and make I don't know maybe minus 50 frames minus 50 frames go in here and from this area up to zero already start some particles something coming like this yes and when you make a render your render will come from zero up to 300 already with bubbles so um, i will make 25 frames per second just check that here it's same situation save use png file going to uh, desktop laboratory folder redshift 64 enable motion blur everything done and just push render so okay when your render will finish it you're going to after effect make double click in this area take your first picture and make import automatically download all your sequence png sequence drag and drop to new composition you have yeah new composition when you play coming very nice bubbles okay full screen i no need now then you can download some some sound i don't know i just download from internet water boil sound just drop down and check okay if you like you can make new layer solid layer go back go to opacity on your keyboard tk first frame 100 approximately five frame zero go to end frame and last again zero coming like slowly coming up slowly coming down very good and additionally if you like you can add some new adjustment layer use some color correction or up to you i use magic bullet suit i like it i like it maybe like this so you see yeah looks like very nice additionally maybe if you like you can add some again solid put down go to effects video copilot and use optical flare for optical flare i don't know i use maybe 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 some sun oh, maybe like this okay so looks like good more bright i don't know some texture going to the screen put somewhere here and you have some very natural very natural video yeah Mm, sorry i need this put up okay full screen and check okay so if you like my tutorial please subscribe uh, please share to your friends uh, check all my other tutorials thank you for watching my video and see you next time goodbye